The whole world is looking at the Moon and Mars as the next frontiers for human space explorations. In the general excitement about the new destinations in space, we tend to forget the risks. And the biggest is radiation. Research carried out by NASA has shown that radiation beyond the Earth's orbit causes sickness, risk of cancer, damages to the central nervous system, and degenerative diseases. And the further we venture, the stronger are the radiation, as they come from particles all over the galaxy. They are so strong that they can rip through materials, including metals and water, which are some of the solutions used today to protect astronauts. NASA is investing millions of dollars in research to find a solution that can protect astronauts. But the solution can be in a plant that costs between $9 to $12 a pound and it is available in every grocery store. Curcumin, a chemical and decoloring agent of turmeric, a flavoring plant that is part of the ginger family. Listen to the statement that was made during a keynote presentation of former NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine at a conference about the ISS, the International Space Station. So, Jim, are you aware of the progress being made at NASA Trish to address the issues of ionizing radiation and even cancer being done now that have already made a lot of progress on that? I am on the surface. If you'd like to share more, I'm happy to talk about it. If, sure. if, you ha if you'd like to make an announcement, I'm happy to... I will make an announcement okay. if you like. Okay, so Dr. Chris Parada. Chris, stand up if you're here. I've done this a few times. Uh, maybe he's not here this morning. Has demonstrated that you can use a simple spice, namely curcumin, to, to reverse the effects of space ionizing radiation as determined at the National, National Space Radiation Laboratory in Long Island where they have a particle beam and they irradiate uh, tissues with that, mouse tissues that have been humanized to, to have uh, tissues in them that are like humans. And you know they damage the tissue first with the radiation and then he's been able to show that with the curcumin he can recover the tissue. So it, it's not just prevention, it's actually recovery. Correct. Okay, that's fascinating. Yes. So these are the kind of technologies that um, are necessary when we, if we're going to go to the moon, where you're not protected by the Van Allen radiation belts, you're not protected by the magnetosphere of the Earth, if you're going to go to Mars, we're going to have to have that protection in deep space. And of course, we need to really, you know, one of the reasons that I like to talk about the Parker Solar Probe and, and, and the other parts of the Science Mission Directorate, Astro or uh, Heliophysics, because we need, to, we need to be really good at being able to predict solar Simple flares and like uh, corona mass ejections uh, so that we can protect our astronauts because the radiation environment is very dangerous well, in deep space. Well, here's the thing about this advance. It'll address cancer on Earth. Indeed. It'll be, it will be able to, to reverse the effects of cancer and there's all kinds of methods being developed. We're taking that off the top of the red risks. Yeah. So. Well, I, will, I, I, I need to learn more. I th thank you for sharing that. Dr. Chris Porata that was mentioned in the comment, is a professor at the Wake Forest Institute for Regenerative Medicine and in the Department of Biomedical Engineering. He specializes in biomedical engineering and molecular medicine, which encompass many innovative science fields like biomaterials, biomechanics, biomedical imaging, cardiovascular engineering, nanomedicine, nanobioengineering, and neuroengineering. Dr. Porata has already conducted research that showed that exposure to space radiations can cause cancer, in particular to the blood, his main area of interest. In 2017, Dr. Porata received a grant from NASA to study the effects of solar particle events, but in particular those originated by Galactic Cosmic Rays Radiation, or GCR. So let's listen to a brief description of radiations in space, just to have an idea of what potentially curcumin could cure. And this is from a different NASA event. Space radiation comes up all the time. Um, the radiation, as I mentioned before, in low Earth orbit is, is pretty much protected by the, uh, uh, by the geomagnetic uh, field. It's not fully protected. It, you know, these crew members are still at, at risk. Um, GCR are, are somewhat um, um, uh, uh, removed. I think it's down to 25 to 40 percent, depending on the species. Uh, solar particle events. Uh, and coronal mass uh, ejections are still there. We're actually not concerned about solar problems, about uh, those two things, because we know how to shield. Because it's the GCR that really are, are, are going to be a problem. These are big honking particles that are moving really fast. And when they go through your body, they tear things up, especially DNA strands. So these are, and, and when you try to shield them, they create secondaries that are worse than the shielding. 
So it's, it's probably going to be that we have to understand either how to select people right or how to identify that people are developing problems during the mission and being able to treat during the mission or have some radio protected countermeasures that we bring forward. For his research, Dr. Chris Parada and his team are using mice with a re-engineered blood system that resembles the human one. The optimism expressed at the conference is most likely due to the conclusive results as we are near the end of the project. The findings, in fact, will be announced in October 2021 and we will follow the project. So this is a good reason to subscribe now to this channel. There is a vast literature about curcumin's antioxidant, anti-inflammatory and bone-building capabilities and in recent years news and research about the benefits of curcumin associated with cancer prevention have also increased. But already 10 years ago, in one study published by a scientific journal, mice that ate a diet containing curcumin had 75% fewer colonic polyps than mice that didn't eat curcumin. In the same mice, Curcumin completely blocked the production of proteins that cause inflammation, a trigger for colon cancer. There is also research that disputes these findings, in particular about the effectiveness of turmeric, and the skepticism is mostly directed to turmeric-based supplements. This is because when taken orally as medicine, the compound can't be absorbed well in the body, as it is metabolized and eliminated too quickly. These criticisms are often part of a general negative press about the supplements industry. This is a market that has grown fast in the last 10 years, but it is often associated to products that make promises, like weight loss or more energy, but are not supported by scientific studies or approved by the FDA. What makes NASA more credible is that this is a non-profit entity. Projects are normally conducted by top experts in the fields, and no matter what the qualification is, researchers need to go through a very demanding selection process made of multiple layers before they can receive any grant. NASA also provides solutions for scientists to work together, rather than compete against each other. In this case, as for other cases, research about curcumin and other solutions, converge to NASA's Gene Lab. This is an interactive, open access resource, where scientists can exchange data and experiences, to understand how living systems adapt to the environment in space, and how that knowledge can be applied to better understand systems, here on Earth. If curcumin turns out to be a breakthrough, it will be just one of the many innovations originated by NASA research. Here are some of them. Here is the conclusion of the event where the comments about turmeric were made. It gives the big picture of the importance of the International Space Station. The ISS has the potential to transform lives on Earth. What happens outside the ISS, it doesn't have the potential. I want to be clear, it is transforming lives on Earth. What happens on the outside of the ISS is transforming lives on Earth. And of course, what's happening with human astronauts on the ISS is a diplomatic achievement for sure, but it also is an achievement um, for how we're going to sustain life on other worlds, which of course is the objective.